Do you know what 1PL, 2PL, 3PL, 4PL, and 5PL logistics are? If not, then you're in for a treat, because today we unravel the intricacies of these complex yet fascinating systems. Let's start with the, the first player on our list, 1PL or first-party logistics. This is where a business or a manufacturer takes care of their own logistics. Think of a local farmer selling produce directly from their farm. They control everything from production to delivery, offering them complete control, but also the challenges and risks that come with it. Moving on, we have 2PL or second-party logistics. This is when a business outsources transportation to a specialist. Imagine a furniture maker that designs and creates the furniture, but hires a trucking company to deliver the products. It allows the business to focus on what they do best, while the 2PL provider handles the transportation. Next up is 3PL or third-party logistics. This is when a business outsources not just transportation, but also warehousing, packaging, and fulfillment. For instance, an online fashion retailer might employ a 3PL provider to store the clothes, pack them when an order comes in, and then deliver them to the customer. This allows the business to focus more on product development and marketing. Now we dive into 4PL or fourth party logistics. In this case, a business outsources the entire supply chain management to a single partner. A 4PL provider acts as a single interface between the client and multiple logistics services providers. It's like having a conductor for an orchestra, ensuring all the different parts come together in harmony. Finally, we reach 5PL or fifth party logistics. This is the most integrated form of logistics, where a provider not only oversees the entire supply chain, but also provides advanced technological solutions like data analytics and artificial intelligence to optimize the process. It's essentially a 4PL provider, but with an added layer of technology. So you might be wondering, what are the key differences between these systems? Well, it boils down to the level of control a business has over its logistics and the amount of outsourcing it's willing to do. 1PL offers the most control, but also the most responsibility. 2PL takes transportation off the business's plate, while 3PL goes a step further by handling warehousing and fulfillment as well. 4PL offers a comprehensive solution by managing the entire supply chain, and 5PL adds a technological edge to that management. Each system has its own benefits and drawbacks, and the best choice depends on the specific needs and capabilities of a business. But no matter which system a business chooses, understanding these logistics models is crucial for making informed decisions and navigating the complexities of today's global marketplace.